What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Me and my girlfriend Ashley just returned from a three-day trip to Kingston. We had a blast. There was a lot to do. In a future video, I'm going to be talking and sharing with you stuff that I picked up from my personal collection while we were on our trip. But also, if you guys are interested and you guys want to see a video where I talk about things to see in Kingston, things to do, places to go and eat, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys are interested, that's a video that I very well could make and I think it would be a blast because I had a lot of fun while in Kingston. A lot of different places that I checked out, not only for my collections and checking out places for things to pick up things to add to my collection, but also just experiencing everything, including Kingston Pen. So if you want to see a video like that, let me know down in the comments below. Now, while we were in Kingston, we decided to check out a place called Brothers Quality Meats. This was recommended to us from family, and we decided to finally check it out for ourselves. Now, once we entered, it was amazing. It's basically a huge butcher, but they have literally anything that you can imagine, any kind of meats that you want to barbecue in very creative ways. And unfortunately, we didn't bring any of that back with us, but we did pick out some of the jerky and pepperettes. Today, however, we are gonna be tasting the jerky that they make in-house there. We have a bunch of different kinds. There's three kinds that they make. It's about $30 for a pound, so it's a lot more than going in a grocery store, but it's way better quality meats than you would if you go and just buy it in a grocery store. So we got regular, sweets and hot, and teriyaki. Now these are the three, I guess, most common flavors. I usually like original, that's just more classic for me, but I do like the other flavors as well normally. And we're just going to get right into it. I think we're going to start off with regular. Now, unlike going to the grocery store and buying a bag where you get a lot of smaller pieces, for example, here is one piece. That is huge. That is amazing. So I'm really excited for this. I absolutely love jerky. You guys know this. Unfortunately, my girlfriend is not going to be in today's video. Normally, we enjoy doing taste test videos together, but she's at work. So I just ripped off a small piece off of uh, one of the pieces in the bag. It looks amazing. You can see the fibers of the meats. It smells amazing. Let's give it a try. Wow. Amazing flavor. Amazing quality to the meat as well. Two thumbs up for me. Really salty, which is a good thing for me. Brothers, that is, that is amazing. Out of different companies that I tried for jerky, um, that is the best original flavor I have ever had. The quality of the jerky is amazing as well. I don't know, I just can't say enough of it. That to me is a 10 out of 10. I like the saltiness, I like the meat flavor, I like that it's real meat. You can tell that it's made there and it's really fresh. Uh, so 10 out of 10 for me. Right now we're gonna try teriyaki, which is usually my go-to flavor. I really like original, but if I'm gonna choose a flavor outside of original, usually I'll choose teriyaki. Um, again, it's a huge piece. I'm not gonna show you, but that is one piece there. I'm just gonna rip off a chunk again. So this has a little red hue to it. Of course, it's not gonna focus. There we go. And you can see the fibers whenever you rip the pieces off. has a sweet flavor to the teriyaki. It's amazing. Mm. The flavor of the meat is not disrupted by any of the flavoring of the teriyaki or any of the other flavorings. You really taste the beef flavor. Um, the teriyaki is a little subtle, a little sweet, but it's a little subtle than what you buy in a grocery store. Usually it's really teriyaki forward. This is very much meat forward with teriyaki hints to it, if you will. So it really reminds me of original, but instead of that really big punch of salt that the original gives, this gives kind of more of a sweet flavor to it. Honestly, I like this one. I don't know if I like it more because I like that saltiness from the original. I'm going to say 9 out of 10. Still really high, but so, so good. Amazing stuff, brothers. 
And we do have one more to try. That is the sweet and hot jerky. Um, I think this is going to be good. Again, it's, I guess, not as big of pieces as the other two. Uh, but still fairly large pieces. So I like the fact that they make it there. Um, I like the fact that you can really taste the beef flavor. I ripped off a really big chunk. Again, this one has a red hue to it. Uh, it just smells sweet. I, um, I guess there's a little peppery smell to it, but overall to me it just smells sweet. Rip off a smaller piece here to try. That's good. Didn't get any heat to it. Unless it's um takes a minute, but this is delicious. I can tell why this is my girlfriend's favorite. It's more flavorful, more flavor forward. You still get a taste of the beef, you still get the saltiness from the beef itself. Um, but you get a lot more flavor than you do in obviously original where there's no flavor and the teriyaki is a little bit more subtle. This is a great flavor. I don't find it too hot. I know their pepperettes, their hot pepperettes are hot. Their mild pepperettes have a nice kick to it, but their hot ones are really hot. Again, I like the honey garlic pepperettes better though, which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to share with you guys in a video. This one's good. I don't know, I'm still, I still like original. Maybe that's just me. Still gonna rank this high. I like that this flavor. I like that you can taste the meats. Uh, the second bite had a lot more heat to it, so I don't know how they mix it uh, with the flavors, but I'm gonna say it's a nine out of 10. Matches with teriyaki, still rated it high, but original, it just holds a special place in my heart. I like that you can taste the beef. I like that none of that flavor is disrupted anyway. I like that there's the saltiness from it. It just tastes like a classic jerky, very high quality. In my opinion, original is the best that Brothers offers. Now the other ones, I still rank them nine out of 10. Don't get me wrong, they're great. I honestly could have ranked everything 10 out of 10. But for me, original is the best. The other two are amazing as well. If you like flavor, if you like a little bit of heat, go with sweet and spicy or sweet and hot. It is amazing. If you like teriyaki, just remember it's a little bit more subtle with Brothers, but still amazing. Out of all the teriyaki jerky that I've had and tried, this is the best teriyaki. Same with the sweet and hot. That's the best, more spicy one that I've tried. Now I've tried habanero, I've tried other ones that are really hot too hot that you don't enjoy the jerky anymore, you just get the heat. The sweet and, what is it, sweet and hot? I keep mixing it up. Sweet and hot is just an amazing flavor. It's not too hot, not overpowering the jerky, but it all comes together perfectly. So thank you brothers, you guys are amazing. We definitely will be back whenever we go to Kingston and get more jerky and pepperettes from you guys. The service was amazing by the way. Everybody was really friendly, they had a lot of staff on hands and Whenever we walked in, they were ready to serve us, but we always, whenever we're in somewhere new, we like to browse everything first and then go for what we came in for in the first place. So we checked out a bunch of other stuff. We did get fudge there, which was kind of too sweet for me, but it was still really good. And we just browsed everything. They have a lot of hot sauces, barbecue sauces, any kind of rubs that you want for your barbecue, for barbecuing any kind of meats. They have it all. They have any kind of meats, any kind of salami, jerky, everything that's ready to just put right on the barbecue with different things. They have kebabs, they have a whole bunch of stuff. I highly recommend going and checking them out. They're in Kingston, really easy to get to while you're in Kingston and there's other things right near it. I think the Cattle Rockway, I think I pronounced that right, the Cattle Rockway Mall is right next to it. So very easy to get to, absolutely loved it and we will be coming back. Our experience there, I'm gonna say it's 10 out of 10. Best experience, best service. Great, great jerky. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. And I'll see you guys in another video like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. If you guys want to know more about Kingston, you want me to make a video talking about places to eat, places to go, things to see, let me know down in the comments below. But I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.